<coughs> what? Ugh. What is going on, fellers? What is up? I am still slaving away in Elden Cringe to get that 99. Oh my god, it's taking forever. Why do I even bother? Why do I even bother? Anyway, uh, so yeah, what's going on, fellers? I am sleepy. Gotta go to bed soon here, in a little bit. Oh man, oh man. I was playing some ODST earlier. I was sucking dick, dude. A grunt threw a sticky grenade on the tire of a warthog, and I drove off, and it was all spinning and shit. And it blew up and it fucking killed me. My brother survived the explosion. But I didn't make it. I was a little hurt already, I think, or something. And it was just enough damage to cause me to die. And Very lame. And the game before that, I just got stuck on a rock. And I wasn't able to move quickly enough to get away from these sticky grenades they stuck me with. So yeah, not good games tonight. Playing like shit. <laughs> but anyway, let's talk about something that doesn't suck. So, let's talk about n not me sucking. <laughs> I, uh... Managed to pull off the job, you know, I got paid my $4,000. Well, it's a little more than that. It's a lot more than that. The last job was recently done by him. That was a 1000 bucks. so fuck. So 5000 plus a couple extra hundred. And I'm doing other jobs, of course. So yeah, I'm getting paid this month, dude. Making thousands and thousands of dollars. Good shit. That's a lot of work, though. God. That last week really kicked my ass. I'm kind of taking it slow this week. I'm just like, fuck you, work. You really stole my life last week. I, de I, was just, I devoted myself to that whole thing, man. God. Oh. Still in recovery mode from it, to be honest with you guys. But yeah, uh, anyway, I don't want to talk about work. I want to talk about the guitar project I'm working on. So yeah, my white guitar, Yakub, that I made uh, a couple months ago. I'm going to paint that bitch silver, dude. Inca silver. And maybe I'm going to do the headstock so it's matching. Or maybe I should leave the headstock alone. They don't necessarily need to match. Especially an old vintage style cutler like that, you know. Like purple or tur turquoise? Yeah, matching headstock, that, that seems fitting to me. Or red. Red just always looks good as a matching headstock, you know? But not everything has to be a matching headstock. So maybe I'll just do the bodies ink of silver and leave the headstock alone. Because the neck is so nice, I kind of don't want to mess with it. But the body... Uh, no offense to Squire owners, but it's a cheap-ass piece of poplar. It's worth a couple hundred bucks at best. And I don't really feel, you know, uh, uh, like a bastard for ruining the finish that came on the factory model, okay? I really don't give a fuck about that. Sorry. It's just white, too. Basic bitch white. Who gives a fuck? The paint job wasn't even that great to begin with. I, I see a few imperfections. It is a squire after all. So, yeah, um, I don't really give a fuck. And I think silver would look cool, man. I'm racist towards white guitars. I admit it. I hate the white people guitar. White guitars, I'm, I'm against them. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Every time I try it, then I end up painting it uh, into a guitar of color, okay? It becomes a guitar of color every time. There's no white. No whites allowed. Which is funny, because this last guitar project I'm working on, actually, 
it's going to have a very light tone, maple body kind of look, which I guess is kind of white. So maybe I'll end up painting this one too. Nope, no way. Actually, I'm not going to do it this time. Nope, it's going to be a light wood color, so it's not exactly white. It's called a natural finish, really. But um, here's the deal, guys. This is what's up. This is what's really going on. My pink guitar, the abomination over there, that's what I call it. It's literally the ugliest idea I could have ever come up with for a Strat, but I came up with the idea because I had a bunch of parts left over that I decided to cobble together to create this weird fucking guitar. And uh, it worked out almost pretty good, but not exactly what I want. And it could have a better neck for that kind of uh, bridge profile that it has. So I'm going to eventually get a better neck. But I can always get a perfect neck from Warmoth anytime this year, I'm sure. So I'm not in a rush for that. I'll get it at the end of the year or something, you know. No rush on that. But I am uh, currently, that guitar is currently using a John Page Custom Shop 93 with Brazilian rosewood. And um, it's a bird's eye maple neck. And the finish is really nice. The crowning is really nice. The medium jumbo frets, really nice quality metals they used. Uh, bone nut. It's a little, it's a little nicer, you know, than uh, an American Standard or American Pro neck. It's a custom shop model, so they used fancier stuff, and it's aged and hardly played, and it's light as a feather, especially with uh, light tuning pegs. Um, oh my God, they sell these tuning pegs called Classic Gear. Classic Gear tuning pegs have the two points in them. That makes them universally compatible with modern fender necks and this is a more modern fender neck it just so happens to have brazilian rosewood and 22 frets so it's very rare that is a very fucking rare uh neck and it's very good um and it's sitting on the abomination right now and that is just uh that is just a, a crime that i thought that guitar project as risky as it was i thought it would work out uh it's a work in progress, yeah. It, don't worry, guys. One day, one day when I get time and uh, the courage and money and all that stuff to go back at the drawing board and see how to make that guitar sing and not suck as much, because right now it kind of sucks. The guts are sticking out. I'm not able to get them all in there. The want pickup uh, selecting is a little wonky. I'm still getting a little used to it. Um, the guitar uh, strings seem to be slipping off the fretboard just uh, almost to a point where it matters, but not really. And I'm pretty sure if I sanded the body a little bit and moved things around a tad, it would work out a lot better. But even then, like, eh, eh, I wasn't pleased. So I think a wider neck profile, one from Warmoth, I think would fit better. I think this is one of those weird situations where a Warmoth body needs a Warmoth neck. And I think... That would be best for that guitar now, looking back. I bet you I would like playing it more if I threw on some kind of custom Mormoth neck that I get in the future one day, probably at the end of this year, and paint the headstock all sparkly uh, uh, pink. Or maybe I'll paint the whole body again. I think I'm going to take the whole body, sand it down real smooth and nice, and then paint it like shell pink and maybe paint the headstock uh, shell pink and then match them together. I think that'll be really cool. But... That's for that the end of the year, and that's a fairly cheap project. That cost me maybe three hundred, four hundred, five hundred dollars tops, you know, in terms of time, labor, and cost. So, I can easily afford that at the end of the year. No big deal. That'll be the big thing I buy at the end of the year. The goofy thing I'm buying right now is my new guitar. I'm setting it up. I bought all these parts. Uh, I'm going for light. Because it's already a very light neck and a very good neck, and it deserves to be played because it's Brazilian fucking rosewood, so I want it to be on something special. And I was hoping that weird abomination, as weird as it is, I was hoping it would be fucking awesome, and it kind of is, but it's uh, not quite what I was hoping for, so... Yeah, it is kind of a fuck-up, but not a complete failure, it is salvageable, I can make that thing... Not such a fuck up. So, yeah, but it's going to take more time, and I don't know when I'll get around to it, in a year, a year or two, who knows. 
I got my fucking jazz bastard over here. It's been about two years since I fucked, fucked with the parts. I could build it in one day if I really wanted to, but uh, it would take a few hours. I'll have to fuck with a few things. And I'm also kind of worried that some of the pickups might not work. Because they're not proven. I don't know how good those original stock 98 Tennessee Rose Filtertrons will sound in my weird Jazz Bastard project. I have no fucking idea how that's going to work. Holy shit. And it's been so long before since I, uh, you know, tried to figure it out that I'll have to relearn a lot of the wiring. So that's a thing, man. No wonder I'm not in a rush to to build it. Although, to be honest with you guys, if I did make it, uh, even if it sucks, kind of, I bet you guys would be like, that's a fucking sick fucking guitar, regardless. Because I did do a kind of a cool job on it. Um, the, bo the body is like really sparkly green on the front, and then it's really sparkly red on the back. It's pretty, uh, it's something else. Very cool design. It's kind of heavy, though. Jazzmaster bodies are all kind of heavy. Even if you thin line chamber them, they're pretty hefty still. It's weird. I don't know what to say exactly they're kind of chunky monkey maybe though i don't know i it just feels heavier i think maybe because it's arching over more in in terms of weight i think a strat is actually lighter because of the cut cut double cutaway it's more pronounced so i guess that you're that's taking away more wood actually than you'd think and uh, it's less wood as a result so it's lighter i think that's what it is Fuck if I know, though. But then there's tellies that are thin line. Those are light as shit. Those are always great. Those are weighing like six to seven pounds, you know? So I'm hoping to get a strat that is also around six and a half to seven pounds. That's what I'm hoping for, this target weight. So I got the, the two-point classic gear. Those are supposed to be really lightweight. They look like old-fashioned uh, vintage tuners. And they're going to go on the headstock of this fucking thing. And they're going to fit, because it's a modern neck with uh, Brazilian rosewood, which is insanely rare. And I'm lucky that I have three, uh, no, two necks that are modern and one neck that is uh, vintage style that are Brazilian rosewood, all three of them. So that's awesome. And then I got um, the Mustang that I created. That thing's pretty sick. But it's a weird guitar. It's not exactly the thing that you want to mess with all the time. But it's cool, you know, sure, whatever. Uh, it's great for just ripping out some chords real quick. It's light, it's small, compact. It's a fun guitar to just fuck off with, you know. It's not a serious guitar. It's kind of just you know, like if you're just going to play some rhythm or something like that. Like you don't want to shred some really bendy solos on it. It's not really... Uh, great for that no mustang really is that's why you want a strat it's a kind of a better guitar all around but whatever um i'm not saying get this instead of that I'm like whatever get whatever guitar you want i don't give a shit <laughs> <clears throat> a strat isn't for everybody actually believe it or not even though it is for, like, most people, basically. But anyway, what was I saying? The guitar, right. Uh, it's going to have uh, those two-point um, uh, Trem uh, classic gear heads. So that's what they're called, classic gear. Look it up. Uh, yeah. It's kind of an awesome thing. And they're cheap. They're, like, 30 to 40 bucks. And... Uh, yeah, versus the locking, which is heavier and costs like 60, 70, sometimes 80 dollars, dude. Especially if you want it in like a certain rare color, maybe. And, uh, ah, shit. You yeah. know? Like, that can be expensive. And they're heavy, which kind of sucks. You don't want your guitar to be too heavy. Because you reach and pick... If you're like me, you're, you reach and pick up the guitar like all the damn time because you're always being interrupted because you have no life because your life is run by capitalism and you have to work all the time and do this and that. Take care of all this shit. Remember all this stuff and your life is hectic and crazy. Yeah, that's me. So uh, if I get a chance to play guitar, it's only for like a few seconds or minutes before I'm interrupted by something. So I'm always reaching for it and grabbing it and fucking with it, putting it down and then doing something else. That's my life, man. 
So I like the guitar to be light and uh, durable and still pretty good, you know? And uh, those are the guitars I'm going to fuck with the most, you know? When I have more free time and I'm more relaxed, I'll fuck with these other crazier, weirder, more uncomfortable guitars, you know? A lot of these guitars are designed for just showmanship, so you look cool while playing, you know? They weren't really meant for sitting down and playing. It kind of hurts to do that after a long period of time with a lot of these guitars, like these big jazz boxes or these Les Paul style guitars. But a Stratocaster, it feels like you could sit down with it for uh, at least an hour or two before you start getting really tired. Uh, it's a very comfortable uh, body shape. It's the best. Yingwei Malmsteam is right. <laughs> That's the best shape. That guy sits and plays a lot because he's older now. Uh, he took the strap buttons off of the uh, guitar, dude. Yeah. Because I guess he would bump them sometimes and be uncomfortable. So it's like, yeah, it's just a little bit easier to deal with the instrument without them. So he just took them off. And I think I'm going to do that with this next guitar. Like, not even have the strap buttons on. Well, I don't know. I kind of like the strap buttons. They look... I don't know. What should I do? Maybe at first do nothing. But I kind of want to get it over with. I, I don't know what to do. I've never... Uh, well, no, I have drilled them myself before. Yeah. But I don't know, man. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I actually shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I will with this one. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, let's see about... That might be weird, though. What if somebody, like, drops it? They're used to, like, grabbing it in a certain way where they, like, stick their, you know, index finger under the uh, the, the strap button. And if it's not there, oh, 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 I dropped it. I'm used to it being there. I thought, oh, no. And then I break my guitar. Even though I probably wouldn't let anybody play this goddamn thing. It's got a goddamn Brazilian rosewood neck on it. It's very rare and expensive, you know? It's special. That's why I'm doing this in the first place. This neck deserves to be, you know, uh, put on a body that gels, you know? And it's just an awesome guitar. That's what I'm trying my best here to do. So, yeah, that's how the headstock is going to go with this thing, with the tuners. Uh, as for the bridge, I'm getting a collusion aluminum uh, block. Yeah, aluminum. It's supposed to be pretty fucking lightweight. Like three times lighter than what you got with the steel or the titanium blocks or the brass. Brass is pretty heavy too, apparently. But aluminum is, I think, in the top ten. I think it's number ten, actually. Lightest metals on Earth or something like that, I read. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but... Uh, yeah, it's fairly light, aluminum. But the problem with aluminum is that also means it's kind of fucking weak compared to steel and other things like that. So people are kind of worried that these tremolo blocks won't last over time because aluminum is cheap shit. <laughs> and yeah, I, I get that. I can understand uh, people um, uh, freaking out about it. But here's the thing. I'm probably not going to use the tremolo block hardly at all. And I'm going to also be keeping a, uh, you know, a steel tremolo block um, uh, on the side. So I can always uh, apply that one if I want to, you know. Um, so, but I don't think I'll be doing that. Because I don't, I don't really do whammy bar shit. And I got, I got a falcon and a fucking penguin that have a Gretsch whammy bar on them. So I got, I got that going on there. And I got, um, that pink guitar way over there. And I got, uh, that metal guitar over there. The, <laughs> my, uh, black strat. And I got this, um, custom shop hollow flake guitar and they all have the vega trem so that's like a mini mini floyd rose kind of trem it's it's really great they're pretty good um but i, w I wouldn't recommend putting them on all, all your goddamn guitars you know what i mean they're expensive and uh um i don't know it's i don't think it it go gels with every look every vibe everything you need you know what i mean so they're great and all but yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna try the aluminum one 
just because it's light, you know? So I'm going for lightweight here. Uh, I'm having more moth make the body. I haven't had them make them yet, but this is my plan. Um, and it's expensive, man. It sucks. It's expensive. It's going to cost... Uh, you guys are going to hate this. Close to $600. Can you believe this shit? Am I actually going to pay that much? God damn it. Ugh. But it's for a special guitar. And it's not like I'm buying a neck right now. But I've already spent money on uh, all these other parts. And then I gotta buy the body. And then I gotta buy the, uh, what do you call it? Pickups. And that's it. And then I can assemble the pit guard and screw it all together and make a goddamn guitar, dude. So, that's the plan. And then, you know, solder the... It's gonna be a loaded pit guard. Texas Growlers from, uh, Nine... Uh, I don't even know what the company is, but apparently these are good. I've listened to them. Uh, they're stacked single coils, so they look like single coils, but they have humbucker-like features, but they still sound like single coils, so it's kind of a unique, cool sound. And, yeah, I heard some of the demos, and I, I like it. It, it doesn't seem like it's the best at doing clean tones, but you can mess with some effects pedals, and it's fine. Uh, but it does do some fucking badass fucking hard shit that sounds kick-ass. And I, I like that about them, so. And, uh, you know, it's a Texas-style pickup, so it's all about the hot. And uh, my very first guitar was Texas Specials in a American Standard Strat. It's such a great, great guitar. And the neck ended up being on the Irish Strat that I, I uh, assembled. And the body is now um, being used for this other guitar that I have at work. Um, yeah, uh, good old Jimmy and, uh, you know, Bimmy. That one's Jimmy. Um, my double dragon guitars. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love those guitars. They're great. Um, I'm about to mod them up a tiny bit. Not the Irish uh, Strat. I think the Irish Strat is officially done like that is a just uh awesome strat that has a very classic sound but you know uh kind of has a modern feel to it you know it's a great great strat though it's really worn in really nice to play on yep that was my first uh electric guitar neck so of course it's you know worn in and nice and I didn't play it too much to, like, wear down the frets to where they are all fucked up, you know? I've never been a very aggressive player, so... Thankfully, the frets are... They probably still have... They've probably been worn down maybe, like, 80%. Something like that. It's still fine. Love that guitar. But anyway, uh, this new one that I'm building, War Moth, I'm gonna have them do it. Contour heel for higher fret access that's a little bit easier. Uh, what else am I going to do with it? Um, chambered. Chambered. So it has like a 25% weight reduction. And it's a little more resonant. So that makes it more acoustically pleasant. Uh, I'm going to have F-hole. So yeah, I love the F-hole strat look. That is always fun. I'm going to do that. It's going to be roasted alder, which is very lightweight. Alder is already a very resonant, good, lightweight wood for any guitar body. It's a very good, good uh, wood. Uh, and then this one's going to be roasted, so it's going to be even lighter and more resonant and more badass. But when you roast, it kind of makes it a little more vulnerable to dings and scratches and stuff like that. So it's always good to have a finish anyway. Uh, but you don't need a finish if you want the bare feel. And if you, if you don't care about scratches or dings like I do, then who gives a shit? So you don't have to pay extra for a finish. So, but I'm going to probably go with a finish anyway. That's why this is costing three, uh, three times more instead of two times more. Uh, but I'm going to have them do the finish because I, I just don't feel like doing it, man. Like, I really need some free time. Like, I don't care how long these projects take, you know what I mean? Like... One day I'll do them. I'm super patient about it. Like that white guitar that I haven't painted gray yet. In my mind, it's already painted gray. I've already made up my mind. It's a gray guitar now. Like that's how I think of it. 
just because I haven't painted it gray yet doesn't mean that to me it's not already fucking gray. I already see it in my mind. You know what I mean? Like it's just I haven't gotten around to doing it yet. Because this shit takes a little while. I need a lot of free time and I'm a busy motherfucker. So Oh man, I love talking about this guitar project. I'm so obsessed with it. Uh so yeah, it's the Clusion Tremolo block with a Clusion uh uh bridge top screwed onto it. You can't buy them together, unfortunately. You have to buy them separately. So it's the same price, except you don't get all the fucking tremolo spring shit and screws. And unfortunately, I need a new set of that crap. So, fuck. I had to settle for it and pay 10 bucks extra for that shit. So I took like a $5 loss there, or $10 loss there. But, eh, whatever. Yeah, I think it's worth it. But then, guess what? You don't get saddles, unfortunately. They just sell you the the metal thing. They don't give you saddles. But the saddles they give you are just sort of run-of-the-mill classic style. If you like your old-school Strat, that's fine. But I wanted something a little bit more, like, better at sustaining. String breakage is uh, reduced, you know, by a good margin. Shit like that. You know, I wanted really good stuff. So I went with the uh, Graph Tech, uh, what are they called? PG-8000 uh oc model um chrome uh graph tech uh saddles super lightweight and they have like this little weird graph tech uh uh slot right where the string lands so it keeps it in this very like perfect stable location it's apparently like the best shit ever and you don't really have to do anything and you may not ever have to break a string so really good shit it's kind of expensive though. It costs seventy fucking dollars. I fucking bought that shit. Oh my god, it's expensive. So, yeah, uh, man, that's what sucks about this project. It's getting pricey. I didn't want to spend that much money, but it's a Brazilian rosewood neck. One of the very few twenty-two uh, fret, uh, you know, more modern kind of Brazilian rosewood necks. It's extremely rare. It's worth a lot of fucking money. This thing's probably worth like three thousand dollars, honestly. This shit's becoming pr pretty rare and expensive nowadays. Like, I was already paying close to $1,000 a few years back for this kind of crap. I stopped because it's expensive, you know? Because, uh, anyway, it's getting more valuable and rare. And it's a wonderful neck. God, it's good. God, it's good. It's so good. It's like... It's like the original necks that I played on back in the day that I love so much, and now I own a bunch of them. That one's like the best one. That's how good it is. It's kind It's kind of the best one. <laughs> it's kind of the best one. So you got to give it up. And it deserves to be on a body that is amazing. So those Texas Growlers, they should be pretty great. They reduce hum pretty good, apparently. So you don't have annoying buzzing noises when you crank it up. Uh, yeah, it, it's just a classic Strat, but, you know, totally upgraded in interesting ways. The neck plate I got is custom engraved. It's cast iron, some kind of super steel, but it's lightweight because guess what? It's hollowed out in the middle. It's engraved uh, a silhouette of like a big bird eagle flying. So, you know, and it's bird's eye maple. So I figured that's kind of fitting of a bird plate, bird's eye maple. The headstock is bird's eye maple showing. I wanted the, the top of this guitar to be also bird's eye maple. And that's what I'm going to have him make. And the, the back part of the body is going to be um, roasted alder. And roasted alder, when you coat it in a finish, which I'm going to have them do, turns really dark. So the back part of the guitar is going to be really dark, but the front is going to be fairly light. So that's interesting. And I'm going to have them do a laminate dark... Uh, binding outline. It's not actual binding, but it's this weird line that looks like binding. And yeah, I'm going to have them do that shit for me. So that's going to look really cool too. And uh, yeah, I think that sums it up. Yeah. And I'm going to, for the pick guard, I'm going to use that weird staggered one. The, 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 T, the T pearl uh, mint green with all the pickups going that way. Because it'll be a universal route. So I'll be able to make them all lean that way. That'll be interesting. And I'm going to use nothing but silver hardware for the knobs and the pickups and all that stuff. I'm going to use black screws. 
And I got a brushed chrome uh, plated uh, input jack coming, so it looks a little bit different from your average shiny silver one. So that should be interesting. Uh, and yeah, the back part is dark, so I got a black neck plate and with, uh, I'm gonna get titanium screws, yeah. Apparently those are a little bit better for the neck bolt area, apparently. So yeah, that's the secret I unveiled. That is going to be, and right now, few details here and there could change, but that is the goal right now. That is the idea that I have. That is the plan. Hopefully all the I, I thought of everything correctly and good. I didn't make any stupid fucking mistakes Hopefully uh, this all works out great But it won't be done until months from now because you know, I haven't even ordered the body yet. I already spent too much money this fucking month uh, I'll spend I'll, I'll probably buy it next month. I'm still contemplating a few of the finer details You don't want to rush a passion project. Yeah, this is a big deal to me. This is like a a hobby thing that I'm doing for the year, you know, just for me, a special, you know, like, that's all it is, just an artistic endeavor, trying to create something that's beautiful. So yeah, I just spent the t past, uh, 20 minutes bitching about this guitar that I'm setting up. Yeah, I'm gonna have them do a gloss clear finish. Yeah, because there's no paint on this motherfucking thing. There's no artwork. There's no solid color paint on this neck. It's just a run-of-the-mill Fender neck. But it's a very special one, actually, so it's not so run-of-the-mill. It's really good. So because of that... This should be my last guitar that I ever put together, I hope. I, I really want to give up after this, because I did, like, all the colors. I did all the colors. I did all the colors. What color do I not have in terms of guitars? And don't give me some shit like turquoise, you know, it's like, that's green or blue. I do have a blue one, I do have a green one, fuck off. Don't give me some shit like rich pink, that, like, purpley pink looking color. No, I have purple and I have pink. No, <laughs> like, like straight up colors, you know, orange, purple, pink, brown, uh, you know, uh, white, uh, gray or silver or whatever, you know, black. Yellow or gold, same thing, you know. I got it all. Well, I guess there's brown and then there's light brown. I got a light brown telly, but hey, once I make this last guitar, that'll be a light brown telly. I mean, strap with an F hole. It'll be really cool, dude. I think, I think it'll be really cool. Honestly, no joke. I think this is going to be sick. And I'm going to have them paint it just because I think they'll do a, of course, a more professional job than I could ever do. I'm just some asshole with spray paint cans. You know what I mean? It's going to be relic-y messy job if I do it and that's not what I'm going for with this thing I want this thing to look pretty uh pristine you know and what's great about the choices I'm making here is the back being dark you're not going to see any dings or scratches really because it's dark you know dark is always nice to go if you have a really white guitar yeah it's going to look kind of scratched up and dirty whenever bad things happen to it Bright colors show, show the most damage over time, if there is any damage at all, yeah. It's true. Um, what was I going to say? Um, but uh, what I like is it's bird's eye maple, so it's already kind of a little messy looking. So if the guitar ever gets scratched or dinged in any way... It's so, like, there's so much going on, you know, in terms of wood de grain detail on bird's eye maple that, like, you can't help but, like, just admire all the little uh, glossy looking little thingies popping out at you. It's going to be beautiful, man. 
It's going to be kind of weird looking too, to be honest, because it's just so unusual. I looked for gu guitars that are have a maple, bird's eye maple top. Only found a few, and yeah, they did look a little bit weird. Uh, but I think I don't really give a fuck. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll look cool enough. And yeah, I'm excited, man. But like I said, I spent too much fucking money this, this goddamn month. And I don't feel like spending another 600 700 Oh, God, that's how much I got to spend. Uh, but yeah, once I get all the parts, I just assemble, you know? Yeah, and I got to buy the pickups, too. God damn it. So I got to spend almost 700 for this body. And then I got to spend 300 for the pickups. That's $1,000, dude. Son of a bitch. That's a chunk of that money I just made. But, you know... I've been working my ass off. I kind of want to reward myself with this weird, crazy crackhead guitar. Uh, it'll it'll probably be, yeah, like I said, I think it's going to be my masterpiece finale guitar. Like, if it's ever the last guitar I make, which I hope it is, because it's really not a healthy hobby. It's expensive, and I should really stop, and there's no point to me continuing to do this. Um, but... Um... feel like I kind of have to do it just to fix this issue with that with that other guitar you know and then everything will be right that's the goal anyway and I think I can pull it off I just have to spend this whole year doing it and we'll see how that goes but one thing's for sure by this by midsummer here I'm going to have that shit done, son, that, that special guitar, and it should be amazing. It should be super fucking badass. It should. It really should. I don't see how it won't. I bet you everything will go fucking perfectly. I bet you. I have a really good feeling about this. It's going to be the last guitar that I put together, uh, unless you count the Abomination or... Or the Jazz Bastard, which, you know, uh, I already kind of, kind of made those. Give me a break. I'm talking like, you know, the official new shit, like the real big, the big one. I'm doing the big one, okay? That's what I'm trying to say here. This is the big one. This strat that I'm going to put together, this is going to be something special. And don't worry, I'll be like modding and messing with my other strats a little bit here and there to get them to be better and... What not? I got some other ideas too, you know? I'm not just focusing on one guitar. But, I mean, in terms of, like, buying massive guitar parts, in terms of necks and bodies, I'm done. I'm done after this. Like, this is it. I am done. Nope, not gonna do it anymore. No way you guys can convince me. No way guitar technology can get so much more advanced and get to the point where it, uh, you know, um convinces me, I gotta make another guitar, you know, I want that feature, no, I don't think that's gonna happen, not worth it, not worth it, <laughs> yeah, my guitars are pretty awesome though, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> not gonna lie they're pretty sick um so yeah I bought um some saddles that are graph tech to go with this clusion top and aluminum bottom for the tremolo block yeah it's expensive the block was 40 bucks, the plate was $70, and then uh, the saddles were $65. Fuck, that's a lot of money. It's 150 bucks, basically. That sucks. That sucks, I didn't want to spend that much money, but... Uh... Like I said, I wanted it to be something special, you know? And I like how it's lightweight. And it's already going to be chambered and have an F-hole. 
and it's roasted alder, which is lightweight. And the top is going to be bird's eye maple, which is, um, that some say it's lighter than regular maple, but I think it's all kind of the same shit. I don't think it matters that much, especially on a top. Top is so minuscule in terms of weight. It's the back part that's, you know, 80% of the guitar's wood. <laughs> that's what matters, you know? Like, fuck the top. Like I said, the top is not even 20% of the weight of the wood part of the body. Because so, it's all, a lot of parts are drilled out of it, you know, to to make way for pickups and stuff. So it's kind of like 15%, 10%. The top is nothing. But a tremolo block is actually kind of heavy. So to have a lighter one, eh, that makes a difference. That kind of matters. So we'll see how it goes. I'm such an asshole. Who who the fuck wants to hear me rant about what my next guitar project is going to be, right? But um, you know, I'm a, I'm fucking obsessed with it, man. <laughs> I'm crazy like that. What can I say? So I wanted to rant about it. That's what the plan is so far. Like I said, things might change a little bit. Probably not. I think I'm kind of dead set now. Oh shit. That hurt like a bitch. Oop. Wasted an arrow. Dang. Dang. Oh well, took care of that trash. Give me the souls. I mean the runes. Nice. I can't wait to not have to level up anymore. That's gonna be like such a... Like... A weight lifted off of me. It's gonna change the way I play completely. Like, I can mix up talismans a lot more frequently if I feel like. Yeah. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna, and then I'm gonna replay the whole game, like, do all the side quest shit, go into every little dungeon and just kind of replay it. I haven't done it in, like, a year or two, so it'll be kind of fun to go back and redo it. I pretty much forgot what it was like. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, right. I'm doing the right... I'm making the right moves. Okay, right. Here we go. Did I do that right? I wasn't paying attention. Son of a bitch. Hope I did it right. I'm a little tired. Literally still feel like I'm recovering from last week. Oh man, that was a lot of work. Yeah, don't be like me, folks. Don't be a workaholic fucktard. <laughs> You might have a little money to buy a fancy guitar every now and then, but I don't know. That's about it. <laughs> yep, that's how you do it. Works every time. What's that guy's name? The Black Hand or whatever? Fuck you, Black Hand. Oh, man. I gotta take a piss. Maybe I should end this video and keep going after I take a whiz real quick.